guessing Pokemon based off of emoji. Each round, we'll look at the question and then I'll go catch whatever Pokemon I think is correct. After I catch a Pokemon, we'll reveal the answer. And if I got it right, I get to keep the Pokemon. And if I was wrong, then yeah. And we need the strongest possible team because at the end, we're taking on Giovanni, the leader of Team Rocket. But here we go with the first question. Let's see what it is. We have Dragon and Nighttime. Dragon and I think I know what this is. <laughs> now, when I say the words Dragon and Night, only one Pokemon pops into my head. I think you guys know who it is. Wait, and there it is. I see it. There's our Dragonite right there. But can we catch it though? Dude, it's in the air. Wait, I think we got it. Yes. But let's see. Was our guess correct? Yeah, and it was Dragonite. There we go. So, so far, we're one for one. Not bad at all. But what do we have here? So, it's a mouse and electric. There's so many electric mice. Because the obvious first guess is Pikachu, right? But there's also Raichu and Pichu. And of course, guys, don't forget to tell me how many questions you got right in the comments. Because so I want to see how smart you guys are. I want to see if you guys are better at this emoji quiz than I am. <gasps> and yo, there is a Pichu right there. Do I think it's Pichu? Bro, I really don't know. Let's just do it. It could so be Pichu. It's an electric mouse. Who knows? So come on, show me Pichu, please. <laughs> no. That's actually so embarrassing. How did I get Pichu wrong out of all the Pokemon? Okay, what do we have here? There's a ninja on the right, but I have no idea what this left thing is. Yeah, I have no clue what that emoji on the left is supposed to represent. But the only two ninja Pokemon I can think of are Raboot and Greninja. But honestly, Greninja is starting to make sense because that other emoji is gray. Gray ninja, like that kind of makes sense. Oh, and I hope I was right, dude. I hope I'm right. Here's our Greninja and it's actually huge. What the heck? He's like double the size of me. All right. Well, obviously that doesn't matter if we got it wrong. So show me Greninja. Yes, there we go, baby. All right, moving on to the next question now. Oh, I don't know this at all. Two cats? What? Dude, two cats? I'm just trying to think of what Pokemon that could be. I also forgot to delete my Pichu. So everyone say bye, Pichu. I mean, there's an Incineroar right here. That's a cat, but I don't think it's right. There's another cat Pokemon here, Purloin, but that that's probably not right either. I am so confused. It's two cats. What could that be? We're just gonna guess Incineroar. So come on, baby. Show me Incineroar. Mewtwo? Oh, because cats say meow. Nice. Dude, we just missed out on a Mewtwo. I am so upset. Okay, what do we have here? Horse plus waves? Like the ocean? Oh, wait. That gives me a big clue. So immediately my brain started thinking of like horse Pokemon that are water type. But actually, I think we should be looking for seahorse Pokemon. That makes a lot more sense. And look at this. We have a beautiful ocean here. Come on, show me the seahorse. Ooh, and we have a Seedra right here. But do we think that's what it is? Honestly, I don't think it's Seedra. Let's keep looking. Because the emojis are ordered horse and then wait. And I think this horsey fits it way more perfect. Come on, horse plus C. So let's see now, were we correct? Come on, show me horsey. Yes, there we go. All right, now moving on to Pokemon number six. Oh, we got a bell and then a, pl oh, I, I know what this is. I feel like that first emoji for this one gives a lot away. Hey, what's up, little guy? Roger Steel, get out of the way, bro. Here is my guess. Come on, it's gotta be right. Bell plus Sprout. I'm gonna actually feel betrayed if I get this wrong. And there we go, it was Bell Sprout. Okay. <laughs> so, so far we're doing pretty dang decent. Let's keep it up. Oh, star and fish. Is it trying to tell me starfish? I have no clue if I was like guessing in the right direction. Like I feel like it was trying to tell me star plus fish, which could be star you or star me. But I don't know if that's true because there's no way to tell if it's star you or star me. There's a star me right here. So I guess we'll just see if I'm right. I guess I should probably delete Incineroar first though. Sir, please show me star me. I can't look. I can't look. Magikarp. Oh, I guess it does have like the star thing on its head, right? Oh my God. All right, whatever. We'll just move on to the next question here. Water and turn. Once again, this could be like three different Pokemon. So we just gotta hope we pick the right Pokemon from the evolution line and oh, but I don't think it's Blastoise. I think that first emoji might be a bit more descriptive than just water. And if that's the case, I think I know which Pokemon we gotta catch here. And here's our little guy. Actually, little guy, this is the smallest Squirtle I've ever seen. Well, let's just catch him. If this is Blastoise, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm not gonna lie. And there we go. It was a Squirtle. All right, so, so far we've only got like two, three questions wrong but oh what there's like a dude and a key and i might be crazy but the only key pokemon i can think of is klefki but i also have no idea why it would be klefki like why is there just a random dude <laughs> like who is that guy whose friend is that and here's our keychain right here come on get in the ball and dude i just really hope this is klefki it's actually 
actually a very useful Pokemon for the battle. So please, Mankey. I'm so dumb. I'm actually so dumb. I'm so dumb. It's man plus key. Duh. That actually makes me so sad, dude. Okay, but what is this? Snow massage. Snow massage. Well, this seems like a fitting biome to check out. There we go. But I'll be honest, I have no idea what Pokemon I'm catching. I'm just trying to think like cold massage, like snow head, snow something. I don't know. But if that first emoji isn't snow when it's like flake or something, then I'm done. Oh, we got a Mewtwo up here. No way. And a Snorlax. Wait a sec. Snorlax. It's got the snow plus lax. And maybe it's not massage. Maybe it's lax. Okay, well, obviously it's not massage. That doesn't make any sense. But lax does make sense. Did I just randomly get this correct? I'm locking in this answer. I don't know what else we would pick. Oh, I just got really excited all of a sudden. Come on, show me. Let's go, dude. That's actually crazy. I'm so happy off of that. Yo, you guys gotta like and subscribe for that one. That was insane. Okay, next Pokemon is... Oh, we have three emojis this time. Ghost, purple, and dead. I'm just trying to think of as many purple ghost Pokemon that I can. And I have a pretty good first guess with a certain evolution line from first gen. But is that correct? I don't know. I'm thinking that skull could also represent poison type. So if it's a ghost poison type that's also purple, I feel like we only have one guess, and that is Gengar, who is right here getting the master ball. And if I'm correct here, this is so good for our team. Please, yes, there we go go. And moving on now to the final question. I don't know. Snake, purple, and death? All right, well, if we think about the last one, the skull represented poison type. So it's a poison type snake who's probably purple. And this would be my first guess here, Arbok. But think about it. Arbok's name backwards is Cobra. And I really hope I'm not overthinking this, but that is not a Cobra emoji. I don't even think there is a Cobra emoji. But with that in mind, I want to catch Ekans here. I'm pretty sure this is just a little more accurate accurate than Arbok. It's snake backwards, not cobra backwards. So we're locking in Ekans. Let's see. Can we finish strong? Wait, no. Dude, no, I overthink way too hard. Well, it is time for the final showdown versus Giovanni. Ooh, when he leads off with the Hanch Crow. Wait, that's actually really scary. Let me go for the body slam. Get the paralyze. And I'm just going for another. There we go. Hanch Crow goes down. And shiny Mewtwo comes out. Giovanni is not messing around. Mega evolves to shiny Mewtwo Y and yep we just got deleted oh my gosh thankfully it doesn't seem like Mewtwo can do much to us so we're just gonna double faint attack and then water shuriken boom Mega Mewtwo Y down. I'm just happy we have two water types. Unfortunately, we missed the Hydro Pump for Ninja. Don't miss it again. Yes, there we go. Crocodile goes down. That's three Pokemon down. <laughs> okay, okay. Yo, Greninja's going on a tear. Thankfully, we take the hip out on down. In comes Rhyperior. Oh boy, this is another scary Pokemon. I think I just Bubble Beam again. I don't want to miss Hydro Pump. It doesn't kill. Hammer Arm takes out Kingdra. And we only have three Pokemon left now. Okay, I'm bringing in Dragonite because I think we can just kill this with whatever. I'm going for five. Fire Punch. Yes, Rhyperior goes down. And we have won. There we go, baby. Giovanni has been defeated. And don't forget to subscribe.